Welcome to Bob Jones University. My name is Debbie Jones and I'm here in the Division of Nursing with Julia and Nick and they're going to show you around today and I'll check back with you later, okay? Yes ma'am. See you later Mrs. Jones. See you later. Hey, glad to have you with us. My name is Nick as she stated and I am a town student at Bob Jones University so that my home is about 15 minutes away from campus. And I'm from Mattawan, New Jersey, so a little bit farther away. One thing that I really and truly appreciate about Bob Jones University and the faculty is the way that they make us think about problems. It preps us phenomenally well for clinicals, tests, and even life in general. Can I tell you just how much I love my instructor? She knows how to patiently teach us the skills that we'll use every day. This is the Skills Lab. Here we learn practical skills for patient care. This is the place where your knowledge from the classroom gets translated into actual patient care. Let's go. This is our lab. Here we have 14 beds with all the equipment you would find in a regular hospital. This is the perfect setting for any instructor to teach their student about any patient care activity. In fact, I think there's a couple teaching students right now. Let's go see what they're up to. We divide the abdomen into four quadrants. Here it looks like Dr. Peterson is teaching how to assess the abdomen. Start with auscultation. Right lower quadrant. So we'll place your stethoscope there. One of the really cool parts about the nursing program here is that we start learning skills and procedures related to patient care as early as our sophomore year. Here it looks like Ms. Higdon is teaching her students how to give sub-Q shots using injection pads. I remember learning about injection shots and being able to administer some in clinical. It was super cool during the hospital clinical setting to see nurses do it every single day and realize that what I learn here, I'm going to be able to apply as soon as I graduate. Something that I love about our program is that we get to continue learning advanced procedures as we go along. Learning is something that you'll never stop doing as a nurse. This is Mrs. Arnold. It looks like she's demonstrating a little bit of a more advanced procedure, which is a nasogastric tube insertion. So they're doing a great job. So we've got the tube in and we're checking for placement. And we're doing, um, And of course, as a nursing major, one thing that we can never, ever get away from is hand, hand hygiene. hygiene. That's where we begin our clinical experience. But this simulation lab, that's where the real fun begins. Here we have four simulation rooms where we practice critical thinking on lifelike mannequins in a safe learning environment. This simulation room is for pediatrics. Let's have a look. These mannequins are so much cooler than the skills lab mannequins because they are so much more interactive. You can listen to their lung sounds, their heart sounds, and even their bowel sounds. Plus, they're to scale in real life. And the really cool part is that the nursing faculty can control them through the control room. This is the brain of the simulation mannequin. The technician inside of here can manipulate the vital signs and even manipulate the situation to whatever they deem fit for the nursing student. They can even talk to you as if they were the mannequin. Are you girls taking care of me? As you can see here, we have all the facilities and equipment you would find in any hospital so that you will leave well prepared. We just got done viewing the pediatric room, but on top of that, we also have the OB room and the trauma room. Let's go take a look at the patient care room. assessment on you. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, we're going to start with your vital signs, okay? Can you give us your name and date of birth? Yes. My name is Dorothy Copeland. My birthday is June 19, 1945. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ms. Copeland. In the skills lab, we learn the proper techniques to use, but here in the simulation lab, we actually get to apply those techniques to our patients. This prepares us for the next step, going into the hospitals and caring for and communicating with real patients. We're going to look at the scenario here and... Okay, so right here, see how she's really engaged with the patient? 
That's really good. That's what we want. And she's understanding, she's being empathetic with the patient. Your body language, everything is really conveying that. Right? She did a great job there of showing that she cares. They did an excellent job. This is the debriefing room. This is where the learning really happens. Everything we do in Simulation Lab is recorded. So when we're done, we'll come in here with the class and we'll see what we did right, what we did wrong, and we'll learn about what we need to improve. It's one thing for a teacher just to tell you what you did wrong, but that's the cool thing about the Simulation Lab. We get to see what we did wrong. And when you see yourself make a mistake, I'm willing to bet you won't do it twice. Thank you, Nick and Julia, for giving us a tour of the facility today. We are so glad you took the opportunity to go on this tour with us today. I hope that you're excited by the technology that you saw, but I also want you to know that we faculty and staff at Bob Jones are thrilled with the opportunity to meet each of you and we are committed to helping you achieve your goals. We cannot wait to see you when you come to visit campus.